Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be building this French pig snout bassinet. So this is going to be in two pieces. So I built this prototype thing around my head cast here. Then I cut a bunch of slits at the top and glued them together, making sure that the angle is a lot softer right there. Uh, I'm going to cut out this shape on both sides, but for now I'm going to paper mache this first. Right before paper mache, I'm trying to get the profile of the French bassinet correct. So I added a few pieces of foam just to give it some height. And now I'm gonna put some newspaper strips soaked into a flour water mixture over this. So there's no steps that I missed. This is exactly what it looks like right after I paper mache it. Make sure you um, use plenty of flour so it's like pretty viscous because if it's too watery, um, it's just not gonna dry and be as strong. But this is what it looks like. There is that feature I'm talking about that is on the bassinet. And we're just gonna let this dry and then move on to the next thing. So now that the paper mache is dry, I covered it in some contact cement. Make sure you wear uh, like a mask or respirator because this stuff is pretty nasty. And make sure your room is very well ventilated. Okay, after trimming off the bottom here and making that open face shape and a few adjustments with duct tape, I also removed the inside supports for more space because my head wasn't fitting in there right. Just make sure you lather the inside with some more contact cement. And if you did the paper mache job right, it should still hold the profile. So I have this piece of cardboard here. It's just a scrap I used to have. And I bent it against the corrugation, lined it up to where I think a hole is going to be for like the hinge. And then I poked a hole in the helmet and in this piece of cardboard here on both sides. So I mounted this piece of cardboard using uh, paper fasteners. I use these small silver ones because um, they have this, this like actual bump right there and that mimics a real rivet. And there's also these gold ones that are a little bit longer, but I have to deal with that extra length. So I like to just use the smaller ones. So I drew out where my eyes are located and now I'm trying to debate whether I should do this kind of visor or this kind of visor. I feel like I should just do the standard like two eyes open instead of like a cage. All right, so this is a great start. Uh, I'm just going to keep adding on to the helmet as I build things. Instead of building it all at once, you just have to uh, slightly adjust the things you're working on first, like the, uh, the base of the helmet and then the, the mask. Okay, next thing, we're gonna work on this cone on the front or the pig snout. So I have this scrap piece of cardboard and I cut a little curve in it. It turns out that that would be a perfect profile for the shape of this helmet. Now, what the plan is, I'm going to make four uh, like isosceles and then they will make up a cylindrical cone shape. So I traced this piece on and uh, sharpened all the edges and made it uh, no longer a prototype. I'm gonna cut this out and make four of them. Okay, hopefully that this is the um, final shape I'll have to use, and here's the four of them. I bent this one inward, I'm gonna do the rest uh, later, and I'm gonna glue them all together, and it should make like a cone shape. I'm just checking the profile and shape right here. All right. So here's the pig snout and I had a few micro adjustments at the bottom there, but we're going to glue it right there. And I know it's a little bit on the longer side, but I kind of like it that way. Now the pig snout is fully glued to the visor. We're going to add another armor piece that goes underneath the beak here. Here's one side. And remember, I'm just making up these shapes. They can be any kind of shape you want. It's just I'm matching the profile so it matches with that curve right there. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's, as long as it looks historically accurate because armor was customizable. 
Now for the eyes, I have a special plan to help this process go faster. So I got this little piece of cardboard right here that's about an inch and a quarter long and then I cut a slit down the middle. Uh, this length is about three and a half. And then I'm going to glue a triangle on this side and this side. Now that we have these triangular prisms, we're going to shave off the top a little bit, leaving a gap in the middle. Just like so. Man, that's perfect. I ended up having to cut slits in it because the helmet does have a curve to it, so these shapes wouldn't fit on if they were just straight, but this one did. All right, that's looking very nice. Now I'm just going to add some finishing touches, like take out that big area right there and poke some holes in the uh, pig snout. Now that that's done, I'm going to poke some holes right on the pig snout. I placed a bunch of dots uh, in a pattern and I'm going to poke those out with a screwdriver or something. That is perfect. I also had some slits at the bottom there for some extra ventilation. Now we're gonna go paint this silver. Now here it is, fully painted silver. It's still just drying up in a few spots, but then you know I have to suit up in the rest of my armor just to get a cool shot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos. This would make for a great thumbnail. Oh, it's hot in here, I'll tell you that.